it going guys? It's your boy Flint here. In today's video I just wanted to bring you a review of the um, 150cc uh, Bigfoot. So it's got 17, 17 inch front tyres, 14 inch back tyres. Uh, pit bike from Motoworks which is an Australian company based down in Victoria. Uh, that's also where Atomic is based which is the other company that I bought the other pit bike from. So this is 150cc, the Atomic is a 125. Um, and this is oil cooled, so it's got a little oil cooler here. That's the main difference. Um, obviously, the capacity 150 and the oil cooler. Now, the biggest difference I noticed between this and the Atomic is that this has this suspension on this is actually really nice. It springs back. The Atomic is different. It's not that it's that it's not comfortable. It's just a different type of suspension. Uh, but this one, this one's very nice. Uh, it bounces back up, uh, which is nice. Now. Uh, I've just got my gloves here. These also came from Motoworks. Uh, they're knighthood. They're, they're a pretty generic brand from China. Uh, but no, the gloves are good. And I've got my helmet there that I bought separately on eBay from another seller. Uh, now, the bike's got front and back disc brakes. Uh, it runs really well. I'm very happy with it. We bought it for my brother. Well, me and my brother went halves in it. Um, so it's, I own a bit of it as well, I guess. But... This is one, it's got one exhaust, the Atomic has two. So the Atomic is much, much louder. Now this has a completely different sound to the Atomic. I think partially because of the exhaust and also because of the engine capacity. Um, but I like the sound of it, it is quieter obviously. Um, but it goes good and it goes fast. This bike um, outruns the Atomic 125cc. When you get your pit bike, you want to kind of make it last or at least take care of it. So these were homemade covers I made out of neoprene. It was actually out of some old swim uh, snorkeling gear. Um, they were boots, uh, feet covers. You, you know, what you put, put on your feet before you wear your, your snorkeling flippers. And, um, and I cut those up and there you go. It's uh, got suspension covers and then yeah, I bought a cover for the rear suspension. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend the bike. It's great for the price. It was uh, 750 plus the shipping was uh, the dearest, well the shipping was 350 and that's because where I live, it is the other end of Australia. Uh, Victoria's right down the bottom and then where I am, far north Queensland, right up the top. So. Um, if you were to pick it up from you know down in Victoria, yeah, you'd only be paying seven fifty. Uh, but yeah, great price, great bike for the price. Uh, it's got a um, what's this called? <clears throat> chain guard. It's got a chain guard. <clears throat> I don't know what the sprocket size is. Um, and then you've got the front disc brakes. Stickers. You have to put the stickers on yourself. I bought this in the carton and then we assembled it. Um, but yeah, it goes it goes really good, and you've got the kill switch here. This gets me every time because on the Atomic, it's got a you got to hold it in, whereas this is a toggle switch, so you've got off and on. So when you turn your bike off and then you go, all right, let's ride again. If you forget to flick that back on, it just won't start. Just be aware of that. <laughs> I mean, the kill switch is fine, but it's just different to the other one on my other bike, so that always confuses me between swapping between bikes. Um, oh. Sponsored by Backhead Blasters, guys. Check this. Check it out. Backheadblasters.com. And then you got monster stickers and some other random brands here that, that I don't really know of. Pro Taper um, cover for the handlebars. Toyota on the front. Yeah, a bit of a mix-up. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend the bike. Um, it's it does the job fine. Right now, where I am, I am out at Tinnaburra. Uh, and and it's been great as you can see the water's really low which is why I've been having a lot of fun in the mud there you can see just take it down so you can see there like you know little islands are popping out out of the water uh, I'll eventually we'll be able to get across to that one um, but yeah it's a, a lot of fun great place to ride um, but yeah so uh great bike I recommend it. Um, 
If you want to see any more footage on my channel of like the Atomic 125cc, I've done quite a few videos on that. I'll get some up of these as well, some riding videos with the GoPro. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.